Hello, welcome pen friends. It's that time again. It's uh, time for the Ink Journal Ink Flight Box. Uh, it, this is a subscription box that I get every month. And it's time for me to open it up, see what's in here, and swatch the, uh, the ink samples. We always get seven ink samples every month. And I thought I'd do like I usually do and just uh, do a video while I'm exploring this. So, it's a small box. It kind of got my curiosity going here because it's kind of small. Let's get a ruler. <laughs> it's smaller than usual. It's like about, oh, about three inches by, this is one of those rulers that's hard to read, uh, six and three quarters by a little more than two inches. So anyway, let's, let's end the suspense and get in here. Sent out on the 7th, and it got here today. This is January 11th, Saturday, which very often I get a lot of mail on Saturdays. So here we go. Okay. We always get a... Oh! Before I go any further, but I probably should have already said this. Um, stop. It, you know, leave now if you don't want to see what's in here. This is the January Ink Flight box, subscription box. And if you don't want to see what's in here... Um, like, probably better not keep <laughs> keep going with this video until later on, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Um, so here it is. We always get a itinerary. And the first thing I look for is what's the ink? Aha. Uh -huh. Takia inks. From Japan. I've never tried any, so this is perfect, right? Because isn't it cool when you get something you've never tried before? That's kind of why I started doing this, because I like to... Uh, explore different things that I probably wouldn't buy for myself or I wouldn't think of or know about or whatever and it's really fun so okay so we have a, a blue black a blue a purple a purple red olive green red and golden wheat wow that's gonna be fun okay let's put that aside I don't want to lose it a sticker a cute little sticker oh that's cute look at that ink flate <laughs> on the little vials oh That'll be really hard to decide where to use it because it's so cute. <laughs> okay. What do we have here? Fountain pens snorkel. Easy and clean to the last drop. Fits most converters. Okay. Now I don't know much about this. Huh. Let's open it up. I think we got time to do that before we get into the... Ooh. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to educate myself on that. Let's see what it says on the back of the... Getting to the last drop. One of the issues that plague fountain pen enthusiasts is filling a pen with the last drop of ink from a bottle or sample. The Peniter... I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but I'm trying. Fountain pen snorkel addresses this issue by transforming a standard converter into a blunt needle syringe. The snorkel plugs into a converter and uses its thin stainless steel extension to act like a hummingbird tongue diving in to obtain some of that sweet, hard to reach nectar. It easily adapts to converters of different diameters but will not fit sailor or platinum converters. Okay, so there's a video. I'm going to need the video because I'm not, I'm completely, this is completely new to me, but that's cool. Something new. Um, and kind of good that it's not a notebook this month because I'm trying to use up notebooks. I've got so many. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, that'll be fun. That'll be really interesting. Something new. Now let's see about this ink. Here we go. We'll put the box. That's a cute box. That'll be useful at some point, sending something out. <clears throat> Need about 20 that size, I think. <laughs> Over the course of a year, anyway. <clears throat> okay, so let's get these out. Uh -huh. And I try not to even look at them. I try to just go ahead and uh, do the swatching without trying to pick the order, because otherwise... I'll be forever all day long, <laughs> and I don't want to do that to you. Um, also, when it's time to review each one of these, I like to go in the order that they went on, and there's it's, it's really hard for me to decide. So, okay, we'll just grab one, and we'll get the paintbrush. Uh, at least we'll get the paint on, and this is how I do it when they first come in. And then what we can do is just see... Um, 
I always add water to the paint dabs. I'll show you in a minute in case this is your first time here. But um, I just paint on up here. Oh, and I didn't do anything to protect down below the... That's okay. The brown paper's gotten so stained as it is. <clears throat> it's uh, it's something that I had around and I covered a, a piece of cardboard that got ruined in the great flood <laughs> that I had on my desk. Ooh, this is pretty. This is like a maroon color. <clears throat> I've set myself up a little bit bad here. I'll have to move these. <clears throat> okay. Wow, this is pretty. But, you know, it's so interesting because until you get these nib in a nib, you really don't know what you have at all. It just... But it's fun. It's still fun, I think, to see the color. It's kind of a deep maroon right off the bat. Kind of reminds me of a color of a car I had that I drove for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> it was a car I really loved and then toward the end I really hated because it cost so much to keep it running <laughs> it kept having to be repaired and I finally got a something that didn't have to be fixed all the time okay I don't know if you can see that it's kind of a it's maroonish I'm getting some lighting issues so that's going to be tough to get it to show real good for you <clears throat> okay so I just come on and just do this and then I come back in and introduce water after it's dried but you'll see this panel when I do the first ink profile which will be this one Takia purple red let's see if you could see that oh I don't know I've got glare it's EBI but then it says purple red <clears throat> very pretty <clears throat> oh my goodness, that's pretty. This is so neat that it's a brand I know nothing about, so I can do a little research for that, especially for that first profile. It'll be all so new. <clears throat> okay. I like to write it on there while I'm doing it or I'll forget. <clears throat> we won't need to put the brand name because I'll put that down below. Just Ebby Purple Red. Nice. Okay. Let's see. If you can see it. It's it's sort of distorting it just a little. <laughs> it's like a typical maroon as far as I could tell. Okay. Next is AO Blue. Takia. Huh. That's the name of the brand. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, I always have multiple waters here because I like to make sure things are clean before we dip in there. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty. You can already tell. Look at that. That's nice. <clears throat> I have no idea how expensive these are or what type, you know, what we're looking at at all till I do some research, but that will be fun to find out. Oh my gosh, that's like, that looks like, almost like, um, Noodler's Bay State Blue, but it, there's something about this that, wow, that is really beautiful. If I can get it on there without being too perfectionist. <clears throat> it's probably not possible. I know I'm going to make a mess on my brown uh, underneath part there. <clears throat> In fact, I'm going to pause and get my thing that I need. There. <laughs> I guess it was just going to drive me crazy to, to not have a place for the ink to go on. You know, the extra ink to go. So I got out my little trusty grid paper that I put underneath every time I'm working. <clears throat> At least I, I try to remember. This is gorgeous. It's a bright blue. Seems real flowy, too. Huh. All right. Now for the dabs. You know, I used to try to get this just exactly the same every time. It's just impossible. So I finally learned to just, you know, just try. Just do it similar, but... <clears throat> worry too much. The main thing is getting it on there, letting it dry, and then um, 
coming back in and putting water to see how it reacts, to see how water resistant or how uh, much it moves around. So this is A, O, and they put blue. Oh my goodness, it's bright and it's got some kind of like red sheening going on. <clears throat> Woo! I hope you can see that. That's neat. Okay, next is Tushi Golden Wheat. Oh, I can already see kind of the color in there. That's pretty. <clears throat> nice. Wow, that blue was really saturated. I'll probably be pausing for new water any minute. <laughs> Okay, so ink number three. Oh, nice. It's not too light. I, I always like to see a, an ink kind of dark. I'll just admit it. I guess I like the darker. There are a few exceptions, but I like something that's going to really show up. And this really does. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Cafe Crema. KWZ Honey, maybe, or hmm, there might be another one that I'm missing that I'm not thinking of. That's why I like doing the comparison panels. It's really a lot of fun. And it little by little starts to stay with you. <clears throat> I need quite a bit of repetition. Oh, that's just real nice. A warm, warm kind of golden wheat. Yeah, it is golden. It's pretty. Okay, we'll just prep this up. I have to remember, I, oh, my stomach's growling. I guess it's almost time to eat. <laughs> there we go. I also have to have this for this purpose, because otherwise I'd be changing water every two seconds. Okay. <clears throat> Get that name on there. T-S-U-C-H-I. Tushi Golden Wheat. Oh. Man, these are going to be fun to try out. <clears throat> okay, next is... I'm sure you can see it. Yagushi Olive Green. Okay. <clears throat> that in there. This is really something I really enjoy. Hoping this video doesn't last, you know... A ridiculous amount of time but <clears throat> oh that's really pretty that's also not a light color <laughs> here I am wishing for not light colors <clears throat> oh my goodness that's pretty green green let's see if you're so you can see a little bit well it's hard I've, I've still got a lot of light coming in the side but it is that time of afternoon when it it comes differently it does it like in the morning around 10 to around maybe noon it's just perfect <laughs> we got to talk to the mailman see if he can come earlier because <laughs> tomorrow is a busy day tomorrow's my husband's birthday so we're gonna be doing some celebrating <clears throat> so i wanted to get this today for you for those who would were like I used to be. I couldn't wait to find out what was in the ink flight. And then I missed several that I would have loved and I realized the only remedy for that was to subscribe and start getting it. <laughs> okay. Put that right on there. And then we're down to three more after this. Whoops. Oh, this is really not uniform at all. <laughs> to make sure I get a few darker spots. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. And it is <clears throat> U G U I S U Olive Green. Oh gosh, that is really neat. It's it, you know, and and the other thing I have to remember is when they dry, they look a little different. I still kind of forget that. I don't know why. 
<clears throat> so we'll probably get a look at most of these dried in a minute here. Okay, so this one is A.O. Guro. A.O. Guro. Blue black. <clears throat> Bet that'll be nice and dark. And let's see. <clears throat> Okay, that's much better. Black. Oh yeah, nice and dark. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see this particular one in the Nick Stewart technique. Something tells me that one's going to be pretty. Let's see. On there. Okay, almost got it. <clears throat> wow, I like that. I really do. I'm trying to try to remember to hold it up every so often so you aren't getting just plain flat light from above and beside here. And we'll soon see what happens with water. We might not do the whole thing depending on how long this gets to be. That one really needs to go. Okay. <clears throat> Shy about trying to pronounce these words because they're really out of my... I can't pronounce much of anything till I've heard it said correctly. So <laughs> Blue black, I can do that. <laughs> Blue black. I'm not even sure how you say the name of the ink company. Takia would be, you know, me trying to say it, <laughs> but... There we go. <clears throat> Next. Oh, here's a purple. Okay. M Murasaki. Purple. <clears throat> I love purple. We just did Purple Mountain Majesties. That was so wonderful. <clears throat> still is. I'm still writing with it today. I wrote another letter today with it. <clears throat> with it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, that is really pretty. Let's see if we can get some kind of ah reflections and everything. It's hard. It's hard to show it. But um, usually when we do the full review, there's enough different papers and backgrounds that we end up being able to see the inks better. And we'll probably have a different variety of lighting then too. So, Oh gosh, it's just gorgeous. Let me show you the just 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 see the ink in the whoops in the top there you could kind of tell how pretty it is <clears throat> I'm just a sucker for purple they could just keep making different purples and, <laughs> and it seems like I love them all and when I get them side by side I could see well it's not exactly like that one and I like this one too you know There, okay. <clears throat> Got some dabbed on there. Oh gosh, that's beautiful. <clears throat> Just seems like it comes out different every time. <laughs> Gee, so far, that purple one and that purple red. Ooh, those have got my interest for sure. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can spell that. M U R A S A K I. Murasaki. Purple. Whoops. 
here one more okay going on a little longer than usual but <clears throat> not too bad I like seeing them all together on the panel like this and it it helps to steer the whole series when I start to uh, you know review them and everything so oh let's take a look oh it's aka <laughs> Aka red oh gosh you can see all that red in there it's just so beautiful already from the outside <laughs> Let's get ready for this one. Woo! Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's really, really red. <laughs> huh. Should have read a little bit more. I'm going to get that placard out in a minute. You know, their itinerary and see if there's anything else. Any other clues as far as... Uh, uh, permanence or non-permanence and that kind of thing. <clears throat> We're going to find that all out anyway in the reviews, but profiles. Uh, also, like I, at this point, I don't know how long this ink has been around. I don't know anything about it. It's like the first time I, if I've seen it, then it just wasn't on my radar. Like if I've seen someone do a, if it was part of someone else's, uh, video then I really wasn't it just wasn't on my radar enough to say oh I've never heard of that huh where have I been right <laughs> oh my goodness I'm hoping you can see that it's just so bright yeah you can definitely see how bright that is oh my goodness <laughs> that'll wake you right up there and, and I don't dislike it. It's not bad. It's just it, it's when ring, ring, ring. It's like infrared or something. <laughs> okay. That's a nice short name. AKA Red. There. Okay. We got them all on here. Now, let me look on there. I just wanted, especially the red got me. This bright red ink exhibits golden sheen, especially on Tamoy River paper. Let's see. Okay, so now I'm not sure in terms of, um, you know, whether they're whether they're waterproof or that kind of thing. That that will all we'll explore that. But wow, that's neat. <laughs> okay, now let me pause for a minute. I've got to get water because I'd like to just get these started probably, and then. Uh, then we'll break and come back with the first uh, profile soon. There, I'm back. I'm going to put a little water onto the little uh, dabs that I made earlier. And we'll just kind of begin to see what it does when, it, when the water is on it. <clears throat> so we'll start with this purple-red one up here. Ooh, that's pretty what's coming out. <clears throat> yeah three layers of water so that I don't contaminate the one that I'm using to uh, dab on here. Huh. And then, you know, as far as how movable it is, we start to see that as it reacts. So we'll just let that happen and move on here. <clears throat> and here's the blue. Oh, wow. That just really picked. See how that lifted real quick and bright? That's nice. Huh. Okay, I usually like to continue to clean it and get on up here. Wow. That's just really pretty. <laughs> okay, and then down here, the golden wheat. Let me make sure that, yeah. Th this is a nice brush. It releases the color real quickly, so I don't know what it was for. Atlas number 58, Red Sable. That's all I know. Made in China. <clears throat> That's nice. That's got some lighter kind of undertones coming out. <clears throat> Usually end up with quite a bit of water on here. They take a good amount of time to dry. But you will see the finished... Uh, product in the first uh, 
profile, ink profile. There we go. Oh, yeah, that, that definitely comes out darker. Huh, that's neat. Fun to see that. <clears throat> Wow, I just can't get over how bright that blue is. That is awesome. Okay, and then here's the blue-black. And that did dry quite a bit. Um, not lighter, but it, it definitely went on darker. More like what you're seeing here as it lifts. That's neat. So, you know, with this technique, you know, you put the ink down first. And then you just put water. And, and it's just fun, for me anyway, to see what happens. A lot of times it, it tells me a lot about the inks. And with the other, with the with this technique here, uh, the landscape, the Nick Stewart technique, you put the water first and then you dab paint on. And use your already inked, you know, fountain pen to draw on it if you want to, you know, add little features. So it's just the opposite, but I get something out of both. I really like to see this. <clears throat> and it, it's really, really amazing when you see the same ink color families on the panels and you see how different they it comes out and how they react to uh, water. I love it. I just love it. it. It tells us so much. Like, I, you know, I've come to realize that many of the diatremendous inks are quite a bit like the noodlers where they... They actually are just really water resistant, and and I, I that was something I learned from doing this. Just and it's a generalization; it doesn't hold true for every ink. Oh, I love this! I love how that looks, and I think it's going to dry with a lot of pink. Well, I'm making splatters, which I don't mean to do ever, but <laughs> too late. Okay, now we're going for that bright red to see what happens to that. <clears throat> Is it in the view? Yeah, you can see it. Ooh, and it's almost got like a candy pink coming out. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. <laughs> Ooh, I like all of these. <clears throat> oh my goodness, this is just such a colorful panel. <clears throat> and once again, a nice, nice variety of colors too. Okay, so this will dry, and I've kept you long enough, I'm absolutely sure. <laughs> but you'll see it again. Thank you for hanging in there. If you watch this long, that's awesome. Um, maybe one day I'll learn how to make it be me doing this uh, and speeding it up and maybe some music or something like that. That's on my goal list. Oh, look at that. I can already see there's a lot of purple coming. That must be why they called it purple red. I, I just love this. I, I could sit here and watch it dry, but I won't put you through that. So <laughs> I'll see you next time with a full profile on uh, the... Uh, it's Tachia. Tacia? Tachia? Okay, I really don't know. But it's it's from uh, Japan, and it's uh, purple-red, and I'll see you with that one soon. Bye for now.